back to another video, guys. Today we are doing a review on my new Simpson Outlaw Bandit. I love this thing. I've been wanting this helmet for such a long time. Um, and for some time, I couldn't figure out exactly what color I wanted. Um, I always wanted the red and I wanted to get the gold visor for it. And then I kind of wanted to get the black one and just do all black out, maybe a gold visor for it. But I kind of settled down. I went with my first instant. Um, I went with the red, but instead with the red visor, I got the black one. I got the black visor right here, I'm gonna show you right now, but uh, when I was at the shop, I picked up the wrong size by accident. I didn't even bother looking at the size because I was so excited that I got the helmet. Um, I got the black visor here, so basically this is what it'll look like when I get the other black one. So I should have it this weekend and I'm gonna be installing it. Um, but for now, I do love this helmet. We're gonna get into the review real quick. I've had it for about a week. I've ridden, I've been on the road for, uh, you know, cruising around town and I took it on the highway and everything. So, I mean, hey, that's, a, that's enough time for a little, little helmet review. All right, so off the bat, the main reason why I wanted this helmet is because it's so aggressive looking. It's like, it has like this whole Kylo Ren vibe to it. It's just so, so freaking badass, man. I love it. It's just, looking at this, if you're coming on head on, it just looks mean, man. It has this whole, like, Kylo Ren slash Bane slash I don't know what, like, but super cool. It just looks mean. I love the line work on top right here. If you don't know much about Simpson, the company, they are very, very good. They've been around since, like, the 50s. They started off with um, drag cars, doing helmets for drag cars and people who race it on drag strips and everything like that. And now they made it onto the way to the motorcycle. So they've been in the motorcycle industry for some time now. This helmet is going to be a little, little heavier than my Bitwell lane splitter right here. So my Bitwell lane splitter is the one that I use for motor vlogging. And, you know, I obviously have the Supreme Sturker on there. I got my name on the side. I got all this GoPro stuff on it. And it's a lot going on with it. Um, this one I just kind of wanted to wear when I want to just cruise. I don't want to motor vlog. I just want to look cool, whatever the fact may be, and have this helmet, I wanna stand out, obviously, with this bright red. So this helmet does weigh 3.4 pounds. I think the bit wall weighs around 3.2 or 3.1. So a smidge heavier. It is a very light helmet for what it is. Um, it's not an expensive, expensive helmet. It's, it's around $400, so yeah, it is pretty pricey, but nothing compared to, let's say, like an $800 or $1,000 helmet. Um, so it's, Pretty, pretty price. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. All right, so when it comes to the ventilation, you're only gonna have ventilation coming in from both sides right here, but nothing on the back. So it is a helmet that you're gonna probably get real hot in. I've been getting real hot in. I mean, my bit wall is pretty hot as well, but it does have this little slip in the back where it lets the airflow come out through the back. This one doesn't. So this one, the minute it just comes in there, it's going to be, you know, obviously in around your face and that's it. But nothing's going to be circulating out, which is not too ideal. Now, what I do like about this helmet is the visor. It's super thick. Pause. Uh, but it's <laughs> this visor is technically a lot thicker than other visors. And I love the fact that it has this lock mechanism right here. So if I want to open it halfway, it'll lock in place. And with the wind, it won't push back and won't drop down like my other one kind of sucks it just literally goes up and it like literally holds all the way on top and then it'll just literally fall down this one i got it all the way on top right there but if i want to lock it down halfway it has the locking mechanism where it doesn't move anywhere and i'm able to get some wind in now going down to the side right here i'm able to just push it down pin lock everything in and i'm safe to go now what i have heard about these helmets is that if you want to wear in the rain it's not the best because some rain does get in um I'm not the type of rider that likes to ride in the rain. I mean, if I get caught in the rain, I get caught, but for me to go out and ride in the rain, just not my style. Now going inside, guys, right here, as you can see, there is no chain guard. Um, so that something I noticed about this helmet is that it does sit very, very close to your mouth. I'm, it's like literally like almost like right here, as opposed to like my bit well, I have a lot more space. So no chain guard. The cheek uh, pads do come off really uh, easy. It's all Velcro. Um, my bit well, are connected with buttons um, and the box does come with an extra pair of cheek pads the other ones that come with are just a smidge uh, thinner so if these are too tight for you you can drop the other ones and it'll be a nice fitment um, these from what I what I experienced so far these do run kind of like a half size bigger this is a small 
My bit well is also a small, but if it, it fit me a bit uh, a bit looser. Like this is pretty tight on me. I'm putting it on right now. And as you can see in the video down below, you're looking at me cruising on my 2020 Low Rider S. Um, it, it looks good. It feels great. And I mean, the wind ventilation gets in there. Not so much. I get a lot more with my bit well, so it's gonna be like right here in front of everything like that. Um, so let's talk about that wind noise. Wind noise on this is not the best. But it's okay, it's doable. It's not the type of helmet that you kind of want to wear for, let's say, a long distance ride across uh, the country because you're going to want something more quieter. You're going to want something, obviously, more ventilation and something more practical. This is not the most practical helmet. It just looks really cool. At the end of the day, it just looks really cool. Um, and it looks pretty cool. That's about it. Um, the, the liner does pop out. I'm going to do it right now, but it does pop out. So if it's washable, you're able to clean everything that way. Both cheek pads are are detachable. I'll put them back in, and that's it. I'll give you a nice little close-up of what it looks like inside. Those are the inside goods. All right, and as we look in the back, it is nail approved and DOT approved. You're gonna have your Simpson logo right in the front. Boom, slammed right there. Your Simpson logo slammed right there on the visor. Boom. Um, very easy to take off as well. You obviously unscrew this, and then it has like these little pin locks that you get in there. Um, my bit well, it is a bit easier to swap the visors out, but the visors for these helmets are obviously, like I said before, they're thicker and they look like it's they're much durable, um, better better quality. So um, yeah, uh, I love the helmet. I can't wait to put the black visor on, and I highly recommend it if you want to be a badass looking rider. This is what you go with, man. This thing is awesome. Um, if you're new to my channel, guys. This is my 2020 Lowrider S, which we're uh, building out little by little. And um, there's lots of lots and lots of projects. I do group rides, I do reviews on parts, I do installations. And to put in simple terms, I'm just a guy who loves to ride his Harley. Like always guys, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.